Welcome to Eurosports coverage of the final of the Cybase Open from San Jose in California. Greg Rosetsky about to take on the world number one Pete Sampras. Greg having already beaten Michael Chang and Andre Agassi. Pete Sampras, of course, already this year the champion of the Australian Open, his ninth Grand Slam title. And looking very sharp indeed. This is the fourth meeting between the two of them, with Sampras having won all three previous encounters, including a quarterfinal here last year, which he won 6-7, 6-3, 6-4. But what a week it's been for this man. Lovely to see him following up his uh, fine form in uh, Zagreb, where he lost to Goran Ivanisevic in the final. First ace. And it's just warming up nicely. Already served one this week of 138 miles an hour. The second fastest ever recorded. only Greg's seventh double fault of the week compared with now 58 aces Greg Wozetsky holds serve at the start of the final. To Eurosports coverage of the final of the Cybase Open, presented by Pacific Bell from the San Jose Arena. I'm David Mercer, nice to be back with you at Eurosport. Be with you for the next couple of weeks for Antwerp and then for Milan. So Pete Sampras, yet to lose a match this year. Perfect 11-0 record. Hasn't lost a set this week in beating Alex Radulescu, Justin Gimmelstam, Chris Woodruff and Todd Martin. But then neither is Rosetsky in beating uh, Alejandro Hernandez, Daniel Nestor, Michael Chang and Andre Agassi. San Francisco's opening service game. The circus here is an indoor hard court. So San Francisco uh, showing that he's not going to be outpaced if he can possibly help it. Incredibly, Rosetsky hasn't dropped his serve all week, not once. Saved eight break points. Turn of serve and the backhand ground stroke that Rosetsky has worked so hard with the coach Brian Teacher, the 1980 Australian Open champion. Oh, dear me. He saw that one as big as a football. What confidence does for you. And Sampras having to play at his very best to win that rally. Wonderful touch from the world number one. He 
San Jose Arena holds uh, some 11,000 people, pretty full. It's a tournament that dates all the way back to 1889. Oh! Started life as the Pacific Coast Championships in Monterey. Sampras the defending champion having beaten Andre Agassi last year and Greg trying to be the only Briton apart from Fred Perry to win this title. Fred won in 1932 and 34. One all first set, best of three sets of course, three tie break sets, the champion takes away 43,000 US dollars, the runner up 25,300 Glitz on the uh, satellite feed, both pictures and sound. But no great glitz on the Rosetsky serve, second ace. There's Brian Teacher in the white. American. Well, more often that Sampras gets this sort of treatment, maybe when he's playing Ivanisevic, I suppose. Oh, dear me. Four in a row and a bonus mark. Rizetsky leads by two games to one after five aces. Explosive start from Greg Rizetsky. Five aces already, four in a row in that last game. But thinking, uh, giving Sampras plenty of food for thought. One, two. going to play a full schedule of indoor tournaments in the next few weeks. Uh, Memphis, Philadelphia, and back to Europe for Rotterdam. Oh, he really is striking his backhand well. After Rotterdam, Copenhagen and St. Petersburg. It's good planning. It's his best surface indoors. So take advantage of the indoor tournaments. I think Sampras, like uh, Chang and Agassi before him, will have been really surprised by the quality of Rosetsky's returning so far. saying you can't really hear the umpire. That's uh, the norm with American coverage. They tend not to have the umpire's voice. The uh, commentators or announcers as they call them call the score themselves. There is the umpire, Norm Christ. So second ace from Sampras. Starting uh, with the ATP Tour World Championship, Peak now has a 14-match winning streak. Oh. 
course he did lose a round robin match uh, to Becker in Hanover did Sampras but, uh, won his last round robin to potential qualification then the semi in the final so that was uh, a three match streak at the end of the year seven in Australia and uh, four rounds here Surprised he's having a look at that. But a really tough one for Norm Chris to overrule on the far sideline. And I must confess, my gut reaction was that it might have been on the line. Second double fall. There's the trembler device that we've got so used to calling the nets. Again, the ground strokes of Rosetsky standing him in good stead, the heavy forehand, and in the past, this is the sort of shot that he's tended to make a hash of, but he's playing with such confidence at the moment. from Rosetsky in that game but he still held serve 3-2 in the final of the Cybase Open from the San Jose Arena in North California <laughs> sorting out the stringing I think within the allotted time oh! let's get the taller man at six foot three one meter ninety sound for six one one meter eighty five Very impressive, isn't it? Forty-five career titles. Greg with three. Most recently, of course, the Beijing Open last year. Hmm. A little bluff there, I think. And uh, Sampras distracted. I say I quite like the running score in the top left of your screen there, I think that works very effectively. Sharks normally. Uh, Norm Chris. Ball from here also. 
close going with the line judge, but no one could accuse the, uh, the linesman of being guilty of hometown calls here. Pete, uh, at the time, lived in California. Now, what do you make of this? Mm, well, I think Norman Chris was probably right. Ah. Chance missed there by Rosetsky. though in Tampa, Florida. Three all in the first set. Sweet shot. Huge serve, gets all the body weight through it. Sampras quick to spot the short ball and move in behind it. And just doing enough on the volley, that's all he needed to do, put it into the open space. Putting Sampras there, didn't really react to the ball. 4 3 Rosetsky leads, first set. We're on serve in the first set of the final of the Sybase Open. 3 4, Sampras serving with new balls. First double fault of the match from Sampras. Well, this time it's Rosetsky's turn to be disappointed. Benevolent smile at Norm Christ. Oh yes. Maybe a touch of fortune. It, it didn't sound perfectly struck. Maybe just uh, you know, bottom left of the racket, but pinpoint in its accuracy. from Sampras and here are the first break points of the match well it's been called good Sampras can't believe it. 
Norm Christ though, right under his nose. Ruzetsky leads five games to three. And Greg Ruzetsky has the break of serve. You can hear that the crowd are not impressed. And Ruzetsky will serve for the opening set. Well, now then, let's have a look at this. Uh, he, he just caught the outside edge, but only the outside edge. Not the ideal angle on that camera, but uh, can Ruzetsky ride his luck? Serving for the set. And that's the sixth ace. That's the uh, screen on which the uh, crowd here watched the replays. Sampras at the moment looking uh, heavy legged. Well, this is superb stuff, and it's three set points, and he is absolutely right. Serves it out to Love, and Greg Rosetsky, who's already beaten Michael Chang and Andre Agassi, takes the first set from Sampras, 6-3. Keep this up, first set to the British number two. It really is an extraordinary start to the year for British tennis. This is the fourth week of play on the regular ATP Tour. That doesn't, of course, include Davis Cup or the Australian Open. And uh, I think we're going to look at this disputed... Uh, forehand from Lizetsky again as the second set gets underway. And whilst you were looking at that and Sampras's reaction, Rosetsky's come up with another clean winner. Sampras deciding that he needs another racket, but uh, four weeks of regular play, of course, on the ATP Tour, and there's been a British player in a final each week. Tim Henman in uh, Doha and Sydney, Rosetsky in Zagreb, but now San Jose. <laughs> the way Greg said the rub of the green, you half expected that one to go over. Lovely to see um, Henman and Rosetsky uh, feeding off each other, it seems to me. Rosetsky responding to having been overtaken in the world rankings by Henman and uh, beginning to threaten him again. Second double fault. Paul Anacone and Todd Schneider, coach and trainer of Pete Sampras, must be looking a little worried at the moment. Thumbs up from Sampras to the line judge. Questioning that. Oh. And the second serve couldn't have been any deeper. The only time that um, Rosetsky's looked a little hesitant today has been on the backhand slice return, which over the years has been rather his stock in trade.
Empress holds serve, start of the second set. But it's Rizetsky by a set to love. Watching Eurosports coverage of the final of the side base open, I'm David Mercer. Delighted to have your company. Delighted to see Greg Rizetsky's playing so well against the world number one. Set to the good, love one in the second. that our coverage of uh, Antwerp starts tomorrow at 2 o'clock UK time, 3 Central Europe. Tim Henman drawn against Sergi Bruguera in the first round there. And we will be bringing you the final of Memphis next Monday. Oh! Third double falls. Very important that Rizetsky doesn't allow his mind to wander at the possibility of claiming the title and beating the world number one. And he was quite capable of turning this match around. Great playing that really off the wrong foot. First break point for Sampras. And I remind you that Rosetsky has not lost serve once in the entire tournament. Two love to Pete Sampras. Sorry, we've lost the uh, the international sound again. So very important now for Rizetsky not to panic. I think what's happening actually? Our host broadcasters are going away to uh, short commercial breaks. Or maybe putting in a little trailer for some of their other programs. Sampras still thinking about the call earlier on, and uh, there you go, that line judge may be suggesting that one was uh, Aiden when it was called out. made space from Sampras and a very different complexion on the match now as the world number one moves out into a three games to love lead second set so Greg Rosetsky needs to dig deep now 
The pendulum has certainly swung at the start of the second set. But he's got to remember that he's only one break behind, even though it's a, a good lead for Sampras. Aces has dried up. Remember, there were five in the first two service games. Since then, only one. Oh. And of course, it's the Rosetsky serve isn't working. Well, the foundation of his game isn't there. Just some edginess creeping in now. double fault and uh, you just can't see Rosetsky winning the set from four love down Okay. Seems to have a hand problem. Here comes Bill Norris, the trainer. Pete, he's having trouble with his wrist. He's having Bill come out and look at it. Well, Norm Christ uh, telling Pete Sampras and therefore telling us what's happening. Well, this is most unfortunate for Rosetsky. Mr. Rosetsky is having trouble with his wrist. He is going to have the medical trainer look at it. Well, of course, um, Boris Becker, also a man with wrist problems, having to pull out of uh, Dubai in midweek. But uh, the latest I understand is that Boris uh, probably will play in Antwerp. At least he's going to test it there. Play, I think. But, uh, do hope it's not going to be something that's going to foreshorten this match. Having played so well all week and uh, having taken the first set against the world number one. And what happens, of course, the first stage is the. Uh, assessment of the injury by Bill Norris. Certainly there haven't been any uh, rumours around uh, the locker room that uh, Greg had a wrist problem. Sampras can only uh, wait patiently. the outcome. Ooh, that 
to be hurt. This is most unfortunate. think what um, Bill could do in terms of strapping. Difficult, of course, you use your wrist so much, particularly a huge server like Rosetsky. That wrist snap so essential, so you can't immobilize the wrist. Uh, looks like he's going to be given some painkilling tablets and some massage. Maybe uh, the uh, tablets are also anti-inflammatories. the score line. Yeah, I think he's describing to Bill Norris there how it does hurt when he flicks the wrist out the serve, throws the racket head out the ball. But the good news is he's uh, at least going to attempt to continue. Sampras to serve at full love. Fourth ace from him. Zetsky, I suppose, uh, needs to be saying to himself, well, let's just try it out for this game and, and maybe the next, see if I can hold serve, and then see how we go into a final set. But, uh, he's not moving. It, it's as if he's mentally conceded, and this is worrying. He needs to decide what he's going to do. I think what he really needs to do is to really go for it and if he can't play that's fair enough but uh, going through the motions at the moment five love to Sampras be the big test for Rizetsky how's the serve going to go with this wrist love five quite rightly Sampras showing the injured man no mercy certainly went for that sir oh dear oh it's all over well what does one say desperately unfortunate for Rosetsky a few boos in the crowd, but if the guy can't play, he can't play. But so one feels terribly sad about that. Sampras wins. 3-6. Five love. Love 30 retired. I feel desperately sad for Greg. I hope it's something that can be sorted out pretty quickly and that it doesn't ruin the rest of his uh, early indoor season because having played so well up to and including the first set of the final yeah very distressed indeed so there we are a sad end to San Jose but I hope you'll join us for Antwerp tomorrow 2 o'clock in the UK 3 Central Europe